Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, January 2nd. So it has been a busy weekend, a busy Monday. So let's recap the weekend. Uh, I hope you guys all had a good New Year's Eve, a good New Year's Day, all that good stuff. So Friday, I don't remember what we did. <laughs> um, I did get diamond painting and stitching done this weekend though. So that's good. So I definitely have progress to show you. So Saturday came and I went to the Panera Bread in Wall Chapel to meet up with the Cross Stitchers of Maryland group on Facebook. It was such a good time. I am so thankful for the friendships that I have made in the community. Um, Brooke and Nancy and Lacey and Jill and Cindy. It was such a good time. So we stitched for like three hours from 9 to 12 and then we went to Mission Barbecue for lunch and that was so very good. And there is a crumble cookies place right there in that plaza. So the next time I go, which is in two weeks, they have it every two weeks. Um, Bill's like, bring me home some crumble cookies. And I've never tried them, so I am very um, excited to try those. So the project I took when I went there was something that I could just stitch in hand. And let me show you, I got them quite a bit. I was very impressed with myself. It is a freebie from Kate Stitcher. It is the gingerbread mug. Um, I've linked her Facebook group before. I'm stitching mine on gray 28 count Lugana. I got quite a bit done. Let me do this so you can see it. I got quite a bit done. So I got the whole border. I mean, I hadn't stitched anything on this. So the whole border done. And then these little guys, isn't that so cute? I'm gonna finish it like on one of those little cutting boards. And she has a bunch of these. So I'm very excited to stitch them all. I love stuff with coffee mugs and coffee and, but this is going to be, this is going to reside in there and it's gonna be something that I only work on when I go there. So yeah, that's gonna reside over there. And then I know I had told you my friend Brooke made me um, a project keeper and um, you know she bought the pattern from Tiger Lily Designs and she did a little bit of modification so she gave me you're gonna die it's Halloween themed oh and I love that this says Baltimore on it which I didn't notice that until I really looked at it just now so Baltimore so Okay, so here's the inside. So the modifications that she made were, here is a spot right here for a highlighter or a pen, which I absolutely love that. Here, she did the bobbin pockets because that's what I wanted. But here you can um, put needles or even little bits of thread. You know how you can buy those, um, I don't know what they are called. The little things where you can unfold and you can put little bits of thread so you can put needles or little bits of thread here and then she also did two zipper pockets instead of one big pocket so you could put stuff here and then in here and then it has the big pocket i absolutely love this so very much um i wanted a halloween themed one for a long time and brooke came through i mean oh look at the back of it oh my god love She's so talented. Anyone who could do the quilting, because that's not me. So I came home from that. I got home about 1.30. And Bill and I wound up not going to the New Year's Eve party we were invited to. Um, we wound up going to the restaurant in our town for dinner, which was very good. And they had alcohol 50% off. So I always get their seasonal cider. And I got one that was pomegranate. So, so good. And we came home. We played. I should have brought it up here. I had bought this like ping pong game from Ollie's like last year where it's like plastic tubes and you bounce ping pong balls to try to get them. And it's almost like connect four with ping pong balls. 
So we played that for a while and had a lot of fun. And then we didn't even make it until midnight. We were, we were both in bed in our respective bedrooms by 1130, but we were still awake at midnight. So when it was midnight, he came down, gave me a kiss and we said, happy new year and all that. So that was New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day, which was Sunday, what were we planning to do? Oh, we took down the Christmas stuff. We took down the Christmas tree. We had already, he had already done the lights outside. So we really just had to do like the actual tree itself. So we did that and that didn't take that long. And then I did stitching and diamond painting because he was outside doing stuff. So I was stitching and diamond painting, which I'll show you that progress in a minute. And then we had dinner, watched the football game last night between the Ravens and the Steelers, which was a very disappointing game to watch. We were up till like 11.30. And then this morning we went to the grocery store and then I went to Starbucks and then we went to Costco. And so we've been busy, busy, busy running. And uh, my stepdaughter and her boyfriend are coming over for dinner in a few hours. So busy, busy, busy. Um, Bill goes back to work tomorrow. I don't have any jobs on the calendar this week yet. I'm thinking that we might have stuff like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because now people, the holidays are over. People are going to be scheduling stuff, but I'm off work tomorrow again. So I will use that day to try to get my bearings and get back to normal and do some diamond painting and stitching. Bill will be going to bed regular time tonight. So I will definitely be stitching. So stitching progress. I finished the tree row. Looking pretty good, right? I only have two more rows, uh, merry and bright, and then stockings. So very excited to get this one completed. And I fixed the fabric so it's like straight now. I just, I, I couldn't stand that being all wonky like that. So New Year's Eve also, um, Bill's friend, across the street and around the corner is named Phil and he got a new puppy and he brought it over to show us oh my god you just want to squeeze him you just want to squeeze his little face he was scared he didn't really like us to pet him and he, he was his little face was like he was scared um but so so cute and his name is Frodo from Lord of the Rings and uh oh my god he's just I just wanted to squeeze him um Okay, so I have notes, actually. I was writing notes over the weekend. Someone gave me a really good idea, and I'm going to do this for my next diamond painting. You know, instead of peeling off the whole clear cover and then putting um, release papers, people peel it back, cut the cover, do it row by row. That's what I'm going to do next time. It's too late to do it now, but next diamond painting, absolutely. So thank you. There was a couple people that actually suggested that tip. So thank you to everyone who suggested that. Um, someone wanted to see how I do my gratitude journal. Nothing fancy. Um, this is a journal that I bought at Barnes & Noble um, a few months ago when Bill and I went on Veterans Day, actually. Bill and I went like on a day date. And this is the most gorgeous journal I've ever owned. And this is a magnetic clasp. I absolutely love it. So my aim for my gratitude list every day is five items. Sometimes it's more than five. Um, yesterday I had 13 items on there. So this is how I do it. So here's what a blank page looks like. A blank page in the journal looks like this. And then here's today's list. So all I do is I will write the date up there, write gratitude, and then I'll just start listing. And then I am reading my Bible after I do the list. So then I might write a passage that I really, really like. You can see I wrote a whole bunch today. So my list for today is, um, number one is Bill. Um, I love that he suggests things for my craft room. Like I'm gonna show you, we got this fake orchid plant for I have all the way up on the top shelf. We got it at Costco. He suggested that a couple times and I we went to Costco today and I was like, let's just get it. And it, I think it looks really good in here. It's another pop of color. Um, number two, Charlize. So I never imagined that I would have a sister only because, you know, my mom had me and my brother two years apart and my sister was not born until I was 30 years old. Um, it has been 
so good to be in her life from when she was a baby and just really good to see her make her way in this world. She's found love and I'm just, I'm so very proud of the person she is becoming. Um, she turns 18 in February. She graduates high school in June. So they're just very huge milestones for her um, this coming year. So it'll be good to see um, what she does. She actually wants to be an EMT. So she has started that process um, of, you know, contacting a fire department in our area, um, going through training. She's went to like a meeting and everything. So wish her luck in that. Um, number three, entertainment. All the entertainment that we have available to us in this day and age, besides like Netflix and stuff like that. But I like to play Candy Crush and it's something, it's so simple, it's free. Um, I played a lot yesterday and it's challenging, I mean, to beat those levels. I'm on like level, I'm in the 3000s. There's like 12,000 levels. Um, I was playing at the inception of the game and I stopped for a really, really long time. But I got back into it and it's a lot of fun. I, I just love all of the entertainment. No one can ever, ever say you're bored, in my opinion. Not with everything that we have available to us to entertain us. Number four, I have eight things on my list today. Number four, uh, Facebook groups. I love the diamond painting groups and the cross stitching groups, but the diamond painting groups have really provided me with a lot of information as in, you know, hanging your diamond paintings with a curtain rod and clips, which I'm going to do that. Um, number five, is a second chair in my craft room. So yesterday I was diamond painting and Bill had been outside, but he came in, got a drink, and he was able to sit down and sit here and chat with me for like a good 20 minutes. And we were looking around the room and just talking about how great it turned out and everything. I'm very thankful for that because otherwise he would have to come in here and stand. And if he had to stand, he probably wouldn't be in here as long as he was yesterday. Um, number six, I'm just so thankful that we were able to make this house our own. Um, you know, I have an office, I have my own room, bedroom, I have this craft room. I'm just, and I have thanked Bill so many times for letting me change this into um, the craft room. And he's like, you know, hon, this is your house too. <laughs> I know, I know it is, but honestly, I would have never imagined, I never had it in my head to turn this into a craft room. Um, that It was completely Bill's idea. So yeah, very, very thankful because this room brings me lots of joy, lots of just, I love being in here and doing my crafts and everything. Um, number seven, another day off work. Always thankful for a day off of work. Yeah, um, where I can just relax and be me and do my thing, right? And then number eight, um, the Starbucks that is across from the grocery store because most times on Sundays when we go to the store or Monday like today, um, I will have Bill stop because I have like $32 because I got a gift certificate from Jill for Christmas and then I had gotten a gift certificate from another subscriber. So I had like $40 on there. And so yeah, it's just, I got a cappuccino with my two pumps of mocha. And the Bible verse that I wrote in here for today is in Proverbs 24, it says, Be not envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them. Through skillful and godly wisdom is a house built, and by understanding it is established. And by knowledge shall its chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong and is better than a strong man, and a man of knowledge increases and strengthens his power. Um, which brings me to, I forgot to tell you guys how many books I read in 2022. I read 67. Um, it's like 18,000 pages. Uh, Goodreads keeps track of that kind of stuff. And I surpassed my goal of 60 by seven books. So I set 60 again for this year. I actually haven't read in a few days. I kind of was like reading, 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 boom, 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 boom. And I kind of, since I started diamond painting and really stitching heavily again, I've kind of slacked off with the reading. I do have a book that I am reading, so I need to get back into it. Um, I'm not like a huge stickler on meeting the goal. I have met the goal in the past previous years, but if I don't meet it, 
I'm not going to berate myself and be upset because in my opinion, even if I read one book, completing any book in a year is fantastic. So, you know, Bill doesn't read. Um, the only other people in my family that read, uh, my stepfather reads, my stepmother reads. So not many people read. And to think that I've read 67 books, I mean, that's like five books a month. That's, that's over five books a month. Fantastic, right? I used to set my goal at one book a week. So I would do like 52. And, um, but there were some weeks in there where I read like two books a week. Like I was really killing it. But yeah, so just very, very happy with everything, how everything's going. And so I'm going to show you uh, my diamond painting progress. I am on the next row. I'm getting ready to start the next row where it's her face and her eye. And somebody wanted to see the dining room now that everything is out of there. And it's so funny. I was telling Bill yesterday, I said, yeah, I'm going to show it in my video. And he said, it looks like a dining room out of like 1825, like, <laughs> because it's like an old, the furniture is old. Um, a china cabinet, a buffet, the table. It looks so, when my stepdaughter came over um, a couple days ago, she was like, it looks so empty in there. It does. It looks really nice and clean though, because there's nothing on the furniture and nothing in there. But for so long, I mean, I have to look back at the video when I changed that into my crafting area. It's been at least five years, at least that. So I don't know, but I'm going to flip you guys around. I'm going to show you the orchid. Um, that we got at Costco that's on the top of this bookshelf. And it's funny because when Bill was in here yesterday, we were discussing like, there's a shelf down here that's empty and I'm going to show you. And I thought to myself, well, as my diamond painting stash grows, I'm going to fill that closet. I will be able to put diamond art club um, diamond paintings down here because I think two sets of columns will fit side by side. So that's what I told him what I'll be doing. But let's flip. Okay, so here is the shelf that I'm going to put Diamond Art Club down. You know, I'll be able to stack the boxes up and I'll be able to go up pretty far. So definitely. And I could probably even put this shelf is empty too. I'll probably even be able to put smaller diamond paintings there. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. But here is the orchid. Pretty, right? It looks really pretty. So let me back up so I can show you guys what it looks like, like when I walk in the room. See how it looks up there? So I was on the fence because I'm like, it's almost like I need another one next to it to kind of balance out the shelf. They have a white one. I think it would look odd to have two orchids up there, but I think I'm going to keep my eye out for something else that's kind of tall. Do you know what I mean? But Bill really liked it, and it's it's growing on me. It does look pretty. It's a definite pop of color in this room. So here is the progress on my diamond painting. Ah! Right? Yeah. I'm So I'm totally done. Let's flick on the light so you can see it in all its pretty, pretty colors. Um, absolutely love doing this. So this next one is, there's like a tiny, I think there's her definite face. Tiny, tiny bit. Here's where her face starts, right here. Because that's like her cheek, I think. But then um, the next one is her eye. So, yes, very, very excited to keep progressing with this. Um, absolutely love it. I'm so happy. And I actually, I'm still looking for Mad Hatter. Everyone apparently is looking for that. And that was a learning lesson. I think next time Diamond Art Club has a mystery box, I'm going to buy it. Because even if I didn't like one of the paintings, so many people are willing to buy it or trade that I would definitely be able to get rid of the paintings if I didn't like them. So the next one that comes around, yep, I'm going to be doing that. But I have been wanting uh, Hannah Lynn's Neptune and Triton, which is she's a pirate in it. And I put in in search of on the Diamond Art Club fans group and someone had it. So I was able to buy it from them. So they're going to ship it out tomorrow. So I will have that to unbox for you guys. It's the colors are so utterly gorgeous. Hannah Lynn is my absolute favorite artist now at Diamond Art Club. So 
I am so hopeful that they release more of her paintings, but apparently that Neptune and Triton was in a previous mystery box, so it was never released. I may have that completely wrong, but I thought I read that somewhere in one of the groups. But let me take you out to the dining room and show you, and then we'll end the video. So here is the dining room, all empty. Oh, I'm talking. They wanted to see the dining room, all what it looked like now. Bill thought I was talking to him. <laughs> but yeah, so I still have like, that is, um, what the hell is that diamond painting called? I can't remember the name. I can't remember it. I loved it though. I loved working on it. It is a Lizzie Falcon. I do know that. Cherry something. Cherry Blossom might be that, but yeah, it's just, it just all looks so empty now because, and we brought the chairs back up. So they were down in our utility room. Um, this is where I used to read my Bible. I used to have the Bible sitting there. That is a chair that, um, was his mom. So we absolutely love having that in here, but yeah, it just looks so, so <laughs> empty now. But yeah, I mean, it looks really nice in here though with the artwork on the walls and I didn't know what to do with this. So this is going to stay here. I still don't know what to do with it. I don't have a table big enough. Um, but yeah, so it's very, very empty in there now. But yeah, isn't it this room just so wonderful though? Absolutely love it. And yeah, I balance the tripod now on top of the washi tape. Okay. So I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys all have a great Monday and a great just everybody trying to get back to normal after the holidays. It's hard to believe all of that is done with already. It's 60 degrees here today. Like it's crazy pants weather. But as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.